So I've got Tony here and uh, John, so John Sinclair. You both work on the same YouTube channel, yeah? John, you've been on before. I have. I had a load of comments and uh, compliments about uh, the things that you said. They were fascinated in your accent. Oh, no. <laughs> can I you, can you gospel, can... but uh, I used to have a gospel and now living in Bristol. Yeah. So you got a mix between a Geordie no, and a Bristolian accent? I know. <laughs> that is definitely northeast. All northeast, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bit poor, but I try not to own it. <laughs> yeah. John, I thought uh, my word for that was frustrating. I thought we well, should have won that game, but it wasn't pretty because uh, mm. Palace had their chances as well. We should have had that game wrapped up. Uh, what was your thoughts? Um, you just said it. NBA is so frustrating. So frustrating, man. Um, look, end of the day, you had a chance to win the game. I mean, right, Isaac, my guy, he should have scored that, man. But um, I think one of his touch wasn't great, but um, he learned from it. And, I'm not going to criticise him, no way, because I love this guy, he's going to be a world class player, he's 22 years old and I hope that um, he'll learn from it, goals to come, he will get more goals. Yeah. Um, I have to be, I'll just say things as I see it, um, yeah. I love Isaac, he played great against Liverpool today, I thought he was largely ineffective, and that chance that he had, you know, with the, with the messy with the messy clip, you've, you've got to make it come off because when it doesn't it looks a bit stupid. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, he should he should have scored. Obviously, he hasn't took the slope into consideration either. So, um, you know, we've got West Ham next week, so hopefully he'll get down there and he'll bang a goal in against West Ham. But once he starts scoring here, yeah, I don't think he'll stop. Yeah, and uh, what about the disallowed goal? What do you think, John? I um, will look at it again, but um, it should have stood. It should have stood. It was coming in together. I mean, if anything, um, I don't pull it like he pushed Willock. And it's 50 50 went in. I just can't understand why. I just can't understand why it was given. Is this a lot? I can't understand it. It's a yeah. joke. I mean, VAR, right? Let's be real. We got done about four or five times so far. We got conned, yeah? We're not very good with VAR, man. And we're just getting done all the time. So frustrating. But I thought that should have stood. Should have done, man. Yeah, I haven't had the chance to have a good look at that. I saw like a three second clip on the big screen. Yeah. My me, me initial thought was perhaps um, there was no intention to foul, but there might have been a bit clumsy as he yeah. lunged in, mm. barged into the keeper, and I think it was a ricochet off one of their defenders when it went in. That was the, that's the only thing I can think of. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, well, what the view I saw of it because I was in the um, east mm. corner, um, it did look like a bit of a push on Willick. Um, but Willick was lying flat out on the floor as well for a bit as well, so before he came round. Um, but I definitely think they got the rub of the green on that. The thing is, goalkeepers are protected far too much, that's the problem. And a slight push on a keeper and they get everything. And that keeper today should have been booked because the amount of time wasting he did. The complaint about Nick Pope on Wednesday, I'm sorry, he done a lot more and got away with murder, basically. I think it was a lot of huffing and puffing today, um, but it lacked a bit of quality. You could tell we missed Bruno, you could tell we missed that inventiveness from Maximin. Um, yeah, frustrating, man. It's just missed. Willock had two or three chan half chances where he kind of spooned his header. Shaw in the last couple of minutes, he, it just wasn't just wasn't working today, was it? Nah, I mean, look, it was bad missing Bruno today. Bad missing ASM today, right? And Wilson as well. If we had those three in the team, we were on that game today, man. But look, at the end of the day, right, if you, have, if you look at the squad, the uh, uh, squad uh, subs bench, right, a prophet Elliot Anderson, who after he had a good game, we're just lacking quality in the team, Eddie, we really are. That's got beefed up in the summer, you know. And they need to sort out in January because Jacob Murphy, man, Jesus Christ on a bite, man, he ain't good enough for Newcastle. What does Eddie Howe see in him? What is he really seeing then? Do you know what I mean? He ain't good enough. It's a joke, but yeah, for me, we, we've, got move, we've got to move on now. We've just got to go on to the next game and um, let's hope that we get Bruno ASM back because it's ineffective in those two sides. Yeah. Joe Linton, I love him, but he can't do it on his own. Yeah. I thought, um, what was I going to say there, uh, Miggy, for me, hmm. I don't know exactly why he's brought off, if it was an injury or tactical, but for me, I thought he was the man of the match. He just he was, he was involved in everything mm -hmm. up until he come off. What was your thoughts? Yeah, he was pressing, he was pressing, his pressing was impressive and, uh, you know, he'd done everything, running, getting the ball. I can't understand why he was brought off, whether it was tactical or whether it was a, an injury to him, I don't know. We'll have to see 
um, what Eddie House says afterwards, but um, he ran his heart out today, Mickey. But we do miss um, ESM and Bruno. We really could have done, but bringing a Madison, we needed a Madison in that midfield there this afternoon, just someone to unlock their defence, you know. Um, and we're crying out for a right winger. So hopefully in January, I think we could go back for Madison and maybe Musa Diaby as well. Because um, both teams, Leverkusen and Leicester, are struggling this at the moment. So if that continues, um, I can see us nicking them in January with a bit of luck, hopefully. Yeah, we missed that little bit of creativity. One sour note for me at the very end was uh, the team getting booed at the end. I thought, how, how are man? Get a grip. You know, I mean, we're, we're a work in progress. You know that we're, we're much better than we were 12 months ago. And you, if you can't support the team when you're losing and drawing, don't support the team when they're winning. You know, I just, I was really, really disappointed with boos at the end. Eddie, I do agree, man. Look, you got to back the team. I mean, you just said work in progress, right? We've got a couple of new players in, okay? This team will be a fantastic team. We're getting to Europe. Probably, if it's not this season, I guarantee you, it'll be next season, yeah? But one thing I'm going to say, back the team. Don't have a go at the players, you know? I mean, we play the heart You just mentioned Miggy. I thought Miggy ran a match today. I thought he was excellent today. Let's be real. I thought the back line is good. I mean, Botman, again, I thought he's good. But at the end of the day, I'd love to see Elliot Anderson start. I really do. Because after this kid, it's going to be a beater. Nice point to finish off on. Great points, lads. Yeah, Thanks yeah. very much. And if you haven't checked out his channel, John Sinclair, check it out. Cracking. Cheers, lads. Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. Thanks very much, Ed. Thank you. Cheers, Ed.